Today is Wednesday, September 11th. I'm Bridget, and this is Girls to Grads. So today is Patriot Day, also known as 9-11, and it's got a lot of people around the USA feeling very patriotic and proud to be American, and I am one of those. This is also heightened by the fact that I chose today to wear my USA Women's Alex Morgan t-shirt. Woo! The US Women's team being one of, if not the greatest, international women's soccer team in the world, and the fact that the U.S. men's team just decimated Mexico in a World Cup qualifier last night, basically guaranteeing our spot at the World Cup. USA! USA! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am a soccer fan. So when I opened up Facebook when I woke up this morning, I saw a lot of people posting about where they were exactly the moments that the attacks happened. For myself personally, and most people in my age group, it was the first example of war and really incredible American history that we were cognizant enough to remember. We all have our stories. Personally for me, I was sitting in my sixth grade classroom. It was the second week of sixth grade. Our sixth grade reading teacher, Mrs. Swoboda, I'll never forget her. She was a very strange woman. She turned off the lights and closed the door, turned on the news, and told us that a plane had flown into one tower of the World Trade Center. I had no idea what the World Trade Center even was. <laughs> After realizing what it was, the first thought that went through my mind was, oh no, what an awful mistake. There was no fraction of my brain as an 11-year-old that could fathom the fact that someone would actually fly a plane into a building, killing all of those people. And as the second plane flew in and hit, and it became abundantly clear to most adults that this was not an accident, most of the people in my sixth grade class, myself included, still didn't get the fact that it was terror. It was an actual attack. And it amazes me what has changed in that time. We are more heavily on our guard and more inclined to expect the worst out of people. But what I find the most important on a day like today, where we had faced such terror and such fear at the hands of some really, really evil people, is twofold. First of all, I think it's important to remember that no matter where anyone lives or what religion they practice or what color their skin is or what their personal beliefs are, most people are just trying to live their lives day by day. They have families and friends and jobs and hobbies. People around the world are not different from us. They might practice different things and speak different tongues, but they are still people. Expect the good in them and expect that all they want to do, just like you, is get home at the end of the day and see their spouses, their siblings, their cats, their dogs, their birds, their fish, their snakes, their children. They want to garden and read and dance and talk and remember that and be compassionate. And second, I think it's incredibly important to remember that life is precious. Remind the people that you surround yourself with daily that you love them. Remember that you could not see them the next day. And that's awful to think about, but use it as a catalyst for love. So while we remember and reflect on the atrocities that happened 12 years ago, please remember to keep the people that you love close and remind them that you love them and why. Also keep those people that lost their lives and those affected by the attacks in your mind. Additionally, I'd like to thank any first responders for doing what you do. You risk your lives day in and day out for other people and that's amazing. Having known many firefighters and police officers especially personally, it hits close to home when you think about all of those people that lost their lives saving other people. So a giant thank you for everything that you do.